Hello! Oh man. So much has been going on. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Just thought I would make a quick video. I don't know if I'll up the, upload this or not. We'll see how it turns out. Um, just talking about kind of my current struggles with what to do in regards to my job in hopes of working towards a career and also the money side of things. So every probably once a month, I sit down and I calculate how much money I'm making, how much money I'm spending, what I'm spending my money on, and kind of like where I can cut costs, where I can save, that type of thing. You know, like budgeting. <laughs> Budgeting is what it's called. We we know that. Um, yeah, at least once a month I do that. I highly recommend everyone should do that. Just kind of reassess where you've been spending a little bit too much money lately. See if you can, where you can cut costs. Especially if you have like a long-term goal in mind. Um, some of my goals, money-wise, are A, to get a car. Um, and budgeting in all the expenses that come along with that. So, you know, general car maintenance, um, insurance, registration, fuel, all that stuff here. Um, and also, of course, Lucas and I are looking to uh, buy a home. Um, so in regards to that, I have been thinking a lot more about where I want to be and by when. And I think I'm having like a huge freak out in my mind because first of all, I've been having some health issues, which I don't think are too serious, but I had some blood work done and we'll know soon enough if there's anything there, which there should be something. Hopefully it's um, relatively easy to tackle. Um, and also um, because I'm nearing 30. So that's another reason why I'm freaking out. So I kind of just like always thought at this point in my life that I would have my shit together. <laughs> but I don't. Not even closely. Um, there's some good things about me and there's some bad things about me. And we all have our own journey. And I've took quite a few back roads and then took a big old plane, a, f a couple of big old planes to end up where I'm at now, which I love so much of what I'm doing and I love so much of my life. So I don't want to regret things because I wouldn't be who I am which I'm not perfect, so I don't like every part of myself, but I wouldn't be where I'm at either, and I wouldn't know the people that I know, and I wouldn't have the people that I have in my life. I, maybe I wouldn't have my cat, who means a lot to me. Judge me, I don't care. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm currently looking at what more I can do, but it, everything costs money. And so while I'm trying to save money, I'm trying to budget. And in the meantime, I'm just trying to, to work as much as I can. And the job that I have gives me 30 hours a week consistently. And that's really good, actually, from my experience here. Being an immigrant, that's really good. I, I'm grateful for my job. Definitely don't want to sound ungrateful. But I just think I should be doing more. And that's more for myself. That's more for my family that's that's more for lucas i think i should be doing more i am an adult and i just need to to do more i need to do better i need to be better and i always have put all this pressure on myself always it's just non-stop uh, but lately i've been taking time to enjoy things and even though like i don't have a job that has me working 40 hours a week 
here full time is 38 hours a week so 40 40 is a u.s thing um so where was i going with that <laughs> um yeah so i have a little bit of extra time and so i've been taking that time to do things that i've missed out on um because as some of you may know prior to moving here i did work a full-time job i lived alone and then prior to that i was su supporting another person so a lot of that money like i never saved money because when you work let's say in the u.s it, w it wasn't minimum wage it was a warehouse job which was above minimum wage by quite a bit in illinois um but supporting two people on that paying all the bills feeding two people you know and then we had two cats towards the end yeah I, I didn't save any money when i was with that person um when i lived at home i was saving money enough to move out and then we made a promise together i i wouldn't move out until we made this promise together that he would get a job and help support me and that's the only way i was going to move out is because yeah like i was making okay money but i was living at home not having to pay rent and you know like utility costs and that sort of thing so he promised me that he would and then you know within the few months after that we had moved out we moved out in like october and by the time he moved out and i had broken up with him it was by the time he had moved out it was like march um march or april of that next year so within about six months i was just i was out of money uh any money that i had saved up and so when i got into the relationship with lucas and after that relationship and i was living alone i was able to save up money you know and then i pretty much spent most of my money coming here like moving here and so upon moving here which here is australia um i struggled to find work so i've been able to save some money again but that money i i, I could just easily it could easily be gone because i still don't have a car um, my family's having trouble back home. Like, it's all so difficult to hang on to, like, my money. Um, on top of that, I'm trying to get somewhere. You know, I don't want to do these shitty jobs I've been doing since I was 15 years old when I first started working. You know, like, I've done my time. I've I went to school so I didn't have to do shitty jobs for the rest of my life. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to have I wanted to to get more out of life, you know? I want to I want to have a purpose, you know, a purpose that I want to have. And it's not to shit all over the jobs that I've had and to shit all over the people that have those type of jobs. So I hope that you get where I'm coming from. I think that it's it's a good thing for yourself to always want better for yourself i think it's healthy i think most people want that and so much of what i've done in my life has been trying to like get to that point um and i just haven't gotten there professionally like career-wise work-wise and like i i just come and go with my perspective when i was younger i like so badly wanted purpose you know i grew up really poor we never had money so money wasn't something when i got out of high school that i really really cared about it never was but the older i've got and the more that i've struggled and the more that i've watched people around me struggle i do want money like i want to be able to help and right now i just can only help in the way of like moral support and it it sucks it hurts you know because i know that like if i would have got my shit together if i wouldn't have made so many poor decisions maybe i would 
I would be able to help more. Maybe I'd be at a different place in my life. But I still find myself over 10 years later working jobs where I'm treated like shit. I have to touch, literally touch like human feces, like clean up shit. And I I think that you know, I'm I'm towing the line between sounding like totally selfish and ungrateful, but also like wanting more out of life, wanting more for myself, wanting more for the people around me. And so anyways, the reason for this is that I I was doing some research while I was budgeting and I, you know, I'm looking to do something in the field that I graduated in because I've never done anything with it. I haven't had the opportunity and there's some of that's my fault. Some of it's not my fault. Some of it's been out of my control. Um, but I'm, I've had a chance to kind of start fresh, you know, like start over. And I, I feel like there's so much opportunity around me and I just need to take advantage of it, but I need to know where to start and I need money for it. So upon looking at, you know, the first initial thing I can do, it's like a couple grand. That's not too bad. That's, you know, that's like a couple months saving for me. If I just really save and really grind. Um, so that's not bad. But on top of that, it's like the, th- the time commitment. And if I'm working as well, I don't know how I'll be able to manage it. I'm just not sure yet. My job is very strict with when I work. There's no flexibility. I have to be there when they want me there. Otherwise, they'll just replace me. I'm easily replaced. And then on top of that, I was looking at, you know, getting a master's in what I want to do because essentially the end game of what I originally wanted to do is like become a social worker. And with that, with what I have my degree in currently, you would need a master's in that and like a full master's because I didn't take social work courses. But my degree is you are able to take a master's in social work. But that's super expensive. It's very expensive to do here. And I already have student loans from my bachelor's that I've never been able to pay. I've I've made payments on them, but it's only ever went towards interest. So it's like this big like conundrum that I'm in and I I don't really know how to get out of it, where to start. You know, I've talked to people about it. They've given me suggestions, but more often than not, it's just stuff I've already tried, stuff that's really out of reach um, or just not really apl- applicable to what I'm trying to do and where I'm trying to go. And I don't know, you know, like, is social work ultimately what I want to do? Right now, I feel like it is, but I don't know, like, I wanted to do so much, and I, you know, I'm looking at how much you make as a social worker and, you know, and I know people get burnout on that type of work. And I know that like, that's something that maybe isn't something I should do, you know, it, being exposed to that type of environment. I want to do good. I want to help people. But at this point in my life, I just feel like I've waited too long. And I know a lot of people that watch this that are older than me are going to be like, you're still so young. And, but we, we all know how quickly time goes. A year can be gone just like that. And for me, that's, that's something that's very, like, I'm experiencing a lot of. You know, like, the past year of me living here just was gone in the blink of an eye. And what did I accomplish in that year? I did a lot. But, like, towards some of the major goals I have, I don't know. I don't know if I really did much. And it sucks. But I have to be... I have to be more kind to myself. Um, When I go back and watch this, because, if anything, this video is for me. uh, When I go back and watch this, I just hope that I can take the time to admire and appreciate all the struggles that I've been through. And how far I've come. That I'm still a decent person and that I'm still trying. I haven't given up yet. So anyways, if anyone has any advice, any um, kind words, any relative 
experiences, um, anything like that, please send them my way. Um, as always, I love all you guys. Um, I'm just kind of trying to get my shit together, and I hope that I do soon for everyone's sake. But in the meantime, I'll be working towards it, as always. Take care, everybody.